Jay Roach over there is the um, the leader of the of the whole um, the whole project, and it's his vision. But also, you know, Charlize, I wanted to work with for probably a decade now, and um, Margot. I obviously we're both Australian, so the idea of being able to be in a film with these women and then Connie Britton's one of my really good friends, Alice and Janie. I just love every single woman in this gives a spectacular performance and then you have John Lithgow. So that combo is kind of fun. I am really excited but also incredibly ner nervous. Um, this is the first night where we're showing it to people and we can't go back and change things and fix things and I think that's kind of like hitting me really hard that we're really locked and this is the movie, this is our baby that we're sending out into the world. I'm so excited. I actually haven't seen the, the final version of the film, so I'm equally as excited, I think, as everyone else. I'm, I'm very intrigued. I can't wait. It's always nerve-wracking to make something that you know is going to be controversial, you know is going to have all the scrutiny on it. You don't know for sure if you've pulled it off. You know, you know you make a deal with the audience that it's based on a real story. You know, is it authentic enough? Is it is it connect? I'm optimistic, you know, that that it's it's gonna it's gonna connect. So we'll see. The first line of the pitch was Charlize Theron as Megan Kelly. Here we go, and that stayed consistent all the way through. And so Charlize has been such a great partner in not only doing her day job, which is the the performance, but doing her night job, which is the producing, and really stepped up to get everything made and that and that's been terrific the depth of talent on this movie you know you just show up at work and like oh really that person's come up for four lines that's fantastic it's one of those films that uh, is, is a major conversation piece and it's so entertaining I've seen um, the film maybe two drafts ago or two or three drafts ago so I'm gonna be surprised by this one Gretchen Carlson was definitely somebody who put herself out there and, 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 and put herself in a very vulnerable position and it is so known now that we know more about these kind of like harassment situations and toxic workplaces where it, it's a really scary place for women to feel brave enough to own their truth and to speak about it and I think that there has to be empathy for how all women handle all of this stuff and none of us are going to do the right thing at the right time. But Gretchen got pretty close to it, and I think everybody else had different circumstances to kind of take into consideration for them to be able to join that. But I think that's what makes it an interesting story. It's not as simple as like a woman gets herself in a situation where she feels uncomfortable and it's her workplace and that she just does the right thing from beginning to end. This is uncharted territory. And, and the, human, the human quality, the, that human conflict behind it is I think what people are really connecting to in this story. For me it's about um, the misuse of, of power and abuse and the way in which these women were able to um, stand up and speak out and actually um, change, start, instigate a massive change. And even though, you know, they're very, very complicated issues that we're dealing with, I think it's done in a really entertaining way, but I think it's a very accessible way. I think it's visceral, um, which is, and it's told from the um, female point of view. Charles Randall wrote an incredible script and um, when it was sent to us to produce and, and for me to play Megan, it was really for us as a company, it was a no-brainer to want to make the film because the story was just incredibly powerful. The script was written so well. And it, I knew ultimately we wanted to produce it, but for me to star in it, it, I had to find that director that could push me over the edge, like over the cliff a little bit. Then that person happened to be Jay Roach, who is a friend of mine, and had read the script just as a favor to me and really responded to the material and um, it was really him who ultimately like said to me Charlize you, you have to you have to play this part and I said okay well will you do it with me and then from that moment on every actress that was like at the top of our list we reached out to we, dream, we dreamed really big 
and uh, everybody responded, and we're incredibly lucky to have made this movie with the people that we ended up making it with. It's like a dream to be able to work with this particular group and such a huge ensemble of actors that I already admire and know and have watched for years, and, and we all kind of got to do this thing together, and it's just, yeah, it, it was incredible. Between Charlize and Nicole and Kate and John and countless others, every day at work was you know, something truly inspiring. So, um, no, just grateful that I got to be a part of it. It's not really about Roger Ailes. It's about um, the women who contended with Ro Roger Ailes, and it's about the whole system that surrounded them all. And, you know, this is a writer who wrote the big short, so he's not going to give you a, a simple thread of, like, you know, this oppressive force and, you know, and, and, and anybody who in any way feels victimized. These women are sort of finding themselves as the film goes along. And we discover them with, with them, you know? They discover who they are, and we discover who they are with them. This is the story of these complicated human beings who step up and do something really remarkable. The name director implies some kind of soul vision. I'm pretty collaborative anyway, because I came out of comedy. We're always workshopping and collaborating. But this one in particular, because of all of this talent that came on board, especially the, the women actor leads, it was, every day was, does this make sense to you? Does this work? You know, Charles' script was so good, but we were constantly checking it against everybody's reactions on the set. And it just wouldn't have worked without that because we changed things perpetually based on reactions. We also were constantly trying to check in with some of the real people who were involved, who we, we don't name, but a lot of people came forward and let us know how they felt. So, you know, that's, that was a huge part of the experience of just trying to get it right. That's our whole thing, just try to get it right. But it was only possible by countering each other, you know, checking with each other all the time, the whole time. So I, my, I knew how to put the camera where I got the shots. I knew how to make sure it kind of organized itself into a movie. But the, 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 the kind of essence of it came from the group, and that was cool. And this all happened in, in the summer of 2016. It was before the Me Too movement had, had you know, come, got the, really got the ball rolling. And, uh, you know, that, that really adds to what these women were up against and, and kind of shows how difficult it can be when there isn't the support there. Uh, it just makes it even harder to stand up and come forward. It's about the women who took down one of the most powerful media moguls in history. This was a year before Harvey Weinstein stuff. So these were women stepping up against one of the most powerful media titans ever uh, to, to challenge this, this kind of culty thing. And they succeeded. And that hadn't happened before. And it was, these were not the most likely people to be the, the women that would do that. So that's what drove me to the story. I think what's been nice when we show it to people is their, the level of surprise that they thought they knew what the film was and then watching it realizing that the way we went about it was to make it not feel like you were taking medicine. The story is fascinating uh, and you know we stayed on that path to the greater truth but ultimately we, we wanted to do something that felt entertaining to watch, something that you really enjoyed watching and all of that was through character study. And I think that's what sets this movie apart. I think empathy really is just wanting to understand. And I think the more we can just understand, the more we can actually know, and, and that's where change comes. But I don't think any of us set out to go make a sympathetic film, because women don't deserve that, and women don't want that. We just want the truth to be told. We want to be heard, and, and we want to have that love. Exactly. And I don't <laughs> think what we're craving is sympathy. Just hear us out. I think that's where we originally set out to come from. And I think that's that's the wonderful thing about movies, about whatever the movie might be about, but it's just, it, the, the medium is so powerful in that it, you can spend two hours and step into someone else's shoes and that you do create empathy with them by the end of it and, and kind of just see the world from their point of view.